Hi and welcome back to Quinoa Paw Creations tutorial videos and today is another part of our Zoom class with our bidding circle in our Facebook and we are showing how to bead newborn baby moccasin tops. I use some German tan leather with my newborn baby moccasin pattern with um, size 11 seed beads. So I zero Nymo beading thread, John Deere size 11 beading needles, and uh, a brown paper bag for their stabilizer and backing. So I basted the brown paper bag to the cutout moccasin top. And now the, um, the beading circle session, zoom session, where we beaded the bully top of the toe. And so here we go. Now, when you're, you're going to want to um, go around this curve, when, but usually when I do the first um, few, row, few um, rows at the top, I kind of keep them even. All right, so when I get over and I'm going to start going around this corner, I'm going to space my outside edge out a little bit, but I'm going to keep my backside close. And it's not going to give it a little bit of a curve, but it's still right up next to the other one. With a sturdy stabilizer behind. I don't have to worry about my tension or anything because the beads just lay flat on the line. Rella spaced out there just a little bit. And the back side is next to it. That's giving me that little bit of a curve, if you can tell. Gotcha. But it's starting to curve some more, a little bit. More. So what I want to do is maybe make just a little bit wider space between the outside. Not too much because I don't. But I want to turn and keep turning this outside so that eventually I'm going to be able to go straight again. Curve yeah. and stay in kind of close on the inside. I don't want the inside to crowd though. A little, a little bit farther because I'm starting to come around that corner and I want to try to get these to come and be straight when I come down this side. I got myself pretty much around the curve so I want to try to now that I got this kind of straightened up I'm going to just try to get those to go straight down. I'm going to go ahead and just I'm going to go back through this last one before I tie a knot just to secure my thread so it won't come loose. back up to the top and work down the other side. And I'm going to go back through that last row to secure my thread before I start the one down the other side. Just securing it like I did on that other end. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. When I start getting around to the curve, I'm going to uh, space out the outside ones and not the inside. Just like that. <laughs> go ahead and go back to this last one. And then I will start the center part. Now, the back side of this, I would tear off this. Um, this edge 
around here, I would tear that off before I sewed it. Then I wouldn't have to go, because you're going to have a lot of layers to go through when you sew yeah. it. So right where I marked that center line that I will be cutting, that's where I would start my center line for the this design is lazy stitch and we're going to start in the middle so that we make sure that our design is kind of centered on that toe and like i said in the pattern that i put on there i only used three beads because i was trying to do it real quick <clears throat> but i think I think we can do five and it will work. Yeah, it'll be a real tight fit, but we'll do it anyway, so. So we're just going to lazy stitch this across. All right, we're going to just lazy stitch this. So I'm going to, um, I am going to do rows of three, but they're going to be five beats high. And so when you lazy stretch and you just want to make sure you're over half bead size so that your rows will lay right next to each other. All right, so I got, because I have one in the middle and I'm going to do sets of three. Let's start and put my next color on there right up on top. I just want to make sure that <clears throat> my um, my rows that go up are in the same spot as the one below them. When you go along the side, you're just going to make it. <clears throat> there's not enough room for that whole row. You would just cut it down, but that looks like it's going to work. And I want this bottom row to be done so that I'm straight. <laughs> there it is. And now I'm just going to go back and forth and fill up now. Do a whole fully beaded moccasin. You'd get on this side of that line, your tongue line, and then you'd start on that side. And we have finished. This is the newborn baby moccasin top, um, fully beaded. Now can be just sewn together. I'm sharing a few of my um, baby moccasins that I have made in the past. Um, I am sold or were custom order. And um, to show the ways that you can beat a moccasin top, um, you can do it anything you want. Um, you could be creative. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this um, session of our Zoom beading circle that we have on Sunday afternoons. You can stop by and 
join our beating circle group so that you can join our zoom sessions on sundays please answer all the questions so i can let you join the group you, you can stop and see my website and uh, i also have newborn baby moccasin kits on my website or in my etsy shop or you can just stop by and buy me a coffee so I'll have the links in the description for my group, my Etsy shop, my website, and where you can buy me a coffee to help support me so I can continue to create these videos and teach on uh, my live Zoom sessions. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.